wait for it, <laughs> excited about for Easter. Uh, we had to get it in there, uh, including spending time with family. I'm personally excited about some big Easter egg hunts out there tomorrow. Uh, and always, of course, some good weather, good forecast out here. Yeah. Rachel Coulter, meteorologist, joining us here. What what should people expect tomorrow on the big day? A lot of sunshine, which is going to be really nice. And dry conditions, maybe a sprinkle in the mountains, but even our rain chances that were very low in the first place in the mountains look almost non-existent at this point. So great news there. It's going to be an all-around beautiful day, whether you're going to be going to those egg hunts with your family or friends, maybe going to lunch or church services in the morning. It's going to be beautiful. It'll be a little breezy at times, but not quite as windy as what we had today. We had max wind gusts around 30 miles per hour today, and I think we peak around 20 miles per hour tomorrow. So let's talk about the temperatures just in case you're going to be headed out early in the morning. Temperatures will bottom out in the low 50s and even that's going to be very brief by the lunch hour. Temperatures will be back into the low to mid 70s. We've got the 80s on the way, not only in the peak heating hours of the day. So three, four o'clock, we should be in the low to mid 80s by then, but that should linger even into the early evening. 83 degrees even by five o'clock for any of those dinner plans. We've got high pressure anchored to our south. That's kept us nice and dry even overhead that ridge of high pressure and control and right around the periphery of that we find this front it's not moving all that much but there's some more moist air here that's allowing for the severe threat to develop just to the north of our area i don't think we see impacts from this however i've been pointing this out over the past couple of days if you've been tuning in i would not be surprised to see southeastern virginia northeastern portions of north carolina just to the north of the raleigh area see some stronger storms move through the area tomorrow afternoon and evening so something to keep in mind if you're going to be traveling to the north uh, that'll be something that you'll want to keep in mind for sure. Grab that first alert weather app. If you haven't already, you can check radar and hear alerts. If you're going to be traveling to the north, that severe threat will be higher there. Meanwhile, it's just going to be warm and dry here. So mentioned it before, but we're going to be near record territory here the next few days. The best chance that we have of at least tying the record would be on Monday. Still forecasting high temperature two degrees below that record of 86 degrees. Either way, very warm conditions here the next few days all the way through Tuesday. What you're going to notice about Tuesday, the winds are going to be picking back up. We could have wind gusts over 30 miles per hour on Tuesday. Cold front moves through and it's going to do a couple of things. One, drop our temperatures. I'd mentioned this before. I almost put upper 50s in the forecast and I wouldn't be surprised if you're tuning in tomorrow. If trends continue to look at the way that they do, we may have to drop those temperatures into the upper 50s on Thursday. Either way, it goes to show how much cooler we'll be and the morning lows will be even colder, which I'll show you here in just a second. Also brings us some rain chances. So in our western counties late Tuesday night, carrying overnight and into Wednesday morning is when we're anticipating showers, but also some storm chances to develop. Here's why. Cold front's going to be approaching the area out of the west, eventually moving over the Carolinas, quickly moving east. We could actually get some wraparound moisture on the back side of all of that. A few snow flurries, certainly a possibility even in our mountain communities heading out the door by the end of the week. But let's zoom in a little bit closer. We've got some of that higher resolution data starting to come in, and this is what we're going to be watching for come Tuesday. There's going to be some strong, if not severe storms to the west of our area. Will they actually hold together as they make it to the mountains by Tuesday evening? That's what we're going to be watching for. All indications are that these will weaken as they move in, but definitely check back in for frequent forecast updates as we get a little bit closer. Timing's going to mean a lot in terms of our severe threat here at home, but I think a big story that you'll notice is that drop in temperature. I mentioned the high temperatures, which are going to be around 60 degrees by Thursday afternoon. We're going to be waking up around 60 degrees on Wednesday morning, back down into the 40s and then even the upper 30s. So we could see some frost in the area, certainly a possibility Friday and Saturday of next week. So here's your seven day forecast, putting it all together for you. It's going to be a beautiful Easter Sunday for us. High temperatures, 83 degrees after starting off in the low to mid fifties, sixties. That's your morning low temperatures there on your screen. We're going to be cooler than that by the afternoons here by the second half of the seven day. And then we're waking up in 65 degrees by Tuesday morning, 83 degrees. That forecast high temperature cold front will bring some sh scattered showers and storms our way Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning will dry out, but will be much cooler by the second half of your seven day forecast.